Chinese robotics company Unitree has introduced a robotic dog named Go2, available for purchase at around $2,000. Resembling a real dog, it stands at 16 inches, is 27 inches long, and weighs 33 pounds. The robot is equipped with a camera, flashlight, and a 360-degree LiDAR sensor for enhanced capabilities. It features 12 motors for agility, its battery provides up to two hours of runtime, and it supports Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. An advanced Pro model, priced at $2,800, offers additional features like voice commands and media playback. There's also an EDU model with enhanced educational features. There are plenty of videos online showcasing the robot performing various tricks with integration for ChatGPT commands. The Tubularia, Cuttlefish and African Knifefish share a cool trick. They all swim by making a wavy motion with their long fins. And guess what? There's a robot, the Bionic Fin Wave, that copies this trick. This underwater robot can talk through the radio and send information to a tablet. The fins on the real animals go from their head to their tail, on their back, belly or both sides, letting them move in different directions. The Bionic Fin Wave has two soft fins without any hard parts, so they can move just like the real deal. These fins have nine parts each, powered by motors, creating different waves for smooth and precise swimming. There's even a motor at the head for bending the body up and down. Sony took a short break from TVs and digital cameras to attempt and recreate the experience you get when owning a biological dog, and this is what they came up with. Nicknamed Ibo, this invention pairs cutting-edge robotics with unique AI technology to mimic the life of a real puppy when you first buy it. Throughout months and years of interactions with its owners and surroundings, it grows up and shapes its own personality around yours, much like a real companion. Ibo will learn where to greet you when you get home and can even be trained on where to go potty. It will also learn to recognize faces and actively seek out its owners on its own. You can interact with Ibo through a compliment or command that Ibo will hear, or a well-placed pat on the head, a scratch on the chin, or a gentle stroke down the back that Ibo will feel. The price for one companion is around $3,000. Using free online blueprints, you can now build your own robotic pet spider. The creator is a former Google employee who repurposes old Android phones to serve as the robot's main processing units. The Hexapod robot wears its Android smartphone proudly on its back, controlled effortlessly through an Android app. But why choose old Android phones? They outshine single board computers, offering top-notch software development and debugging tools. These nifty Android robots pack a punch with various sensors, connectivity options, touch screens, cameras and more. Plus, they showcase advanced features like face recognition and seamless integration with Google Assistant. In Vancouver, Canada, the EatArt Foundation makes giant robots to teach people about the role of energy in our lives. One inspiring creation is their Titana Boa, a 50-foot mechanical snake running on batteries. They specifically chose to imitate this massive animal since it officially went extinct because of climate change. The robotic Titana Boa is a faithful copy of the original but with mechanical parts. It took a team of over 30 volunteers about a year to build it, using lightweight aluminum, hydraulic cylinders for muscles and microcontrollers for its brain. Wires and tubes act like veins, letting it move like a real snake. You can even ride it, thanks to a special saddle. Meet Cassie, a robot created at Oregon State University College of Engineering and produced by Agility Robotics. This robot was funded with a $1 million grant from DARPA and was intelligently modeled after the legs of an ostrich. This has helped it set the Guinness World Record for the fastest 100-meter run by a two-legged robot. It completed the sprint in 24.73 seconds. While not human speed, it's impressive for a robot. The robot operates entirely without cameras 
or external sensors, thanks to extensive training in a simulation environment, resulting in an optimized running gait similar to human biomechanics. These may look like birds from far away, but they're actually robots, a part of the Griffin project. The goal? Creating robotic birds that can interact with people and take over from helicopters in certain situations. Regular drones can only fly for 20-30 minutes, but these birds aim to double that by using natural winds and airflows. The goal is autonomous robots that can conserve energy, cling to curved surfaces and handle delicate tasks. They use wind for power and have onboard computers and cameras for navigation. They can already land on injured individuals without causing harm, as well as inspect hard-to-reach places for humans, like industrial pipes for corrosion. Since 2018, the project has made big strides in indoor and outdoor flight. The next challenge? Landing on poles or wires while staying balanced. Introducing the Air Jelly, a special indoor flying device with a unique peristaltic propulsion system. Unlike real jellyfish in the water, this Air Jelly gracefully moves through the air. It imitates a jellyfish's motions with its eight flexible tentacles, powered by electricity to float using a rebound effect. Inside its body, there's an electric drive, batteries, and a helium-filled ballonet for buoyancy. By shifting its weight and using peristaltic propulsion, it can navigate freely in three-dimensional space. When pressure is applied, it automatically bends in the opposite direction, allowing the air jelly to glide through the air, just like its natural counterpart in the sea. Swiss robotics company Anybotics has unveiled Animal X, the world's first explosion-proof four-legged robot. This robotic dog is built for risky environments, such as chemical and oil and gas industries, aiming to automate inspections and cut safety risks and costs linked to human specialists. Animal X can handle tasks like visual inspections, reading instruments, thermography, vibration analysis, and 3D scanning. It features gas detection sensors and integrates with asset management software and digital twin platforms. Plant operators stand to gain benefits like reduced manual work, less exposure to hazards, no facility shutdowns for inspections, decreased unplanned downtime, improved data tagging, automatic reporting and operational insights. Ghent University students crafted a six-legged robot, the Scorpion Hexapod, mimicking a scorpion's appearance. If you cover its eyes, it'll jab its stinger at your hand, leaving a red mark as a playful reminder. Fueled by a front-facing camera, the robot reacts to various interactions, mirroring the movements of a real scorpion. The students used 3D printing for the legs and tail, laser cutting for the body, and manual crafting for the shell, claws, leg ends and tail stinger. This unique creation not only imitates nature, but also serves as a promotion for courses offered at the Industrial Design Center. Meet Wildcat, a four-legged robot from Boston Dynamics. It's all about speed, making it one of the fastest four-legged robots globally. This robot is built to zip across different landscapes, reaching speeds of approximately 19 miles per hour on flat surfaces with bounding and galloping moves. Wildcat is the successor to Boston Dynamics' previous speedster, the Cheetah Robot, which once claimed the title of the world's fastest-legged robot, hitting over 29 miles per hour on a treadmill. Now, Wildcat takes it a step further, showcasing even higher speeds in the real world. A group of scientists at the University of Tokyo has developed Jizai arms, inspired by traditional Japanese figurines. These arms, linked to a backpack with six sockets, can be controlled in real time. Users can easily swap and control these arms and they are designed to complement the human body aesthetically. Controlled by a small wireless remote, when four arms are attached, the total weight is 14 kilograms. In experiments, 
volunteers took part in role-playing scenarios, testing the attachment and control of arms. The study highlighted people's ability to sense the attachment and detachment of arms, emphasizing the importance of customization in future research for a sense of social ownership.